true horror with a wolf and a mummy. Hello there, ghouls and gals out there. Tonight's special movie is Jeepers Creepers. If you haven't seen it already, well, let me tell you. After making a horrific discovery in the basement of an old abandoned church, Trish and her brother, Derry, watch their routine road trip home from college turn into a heart-stopping race for their lives. This creature is an ancient, mysterious demon who seeks organs for humans to replace in its own old and damaged ones. It hunts for 23 days every 23rd spring by scaring the victims and using the scent of fear to determine what he needs to feed on. He's a bone-chilling master of villains. This movie gives a whole new meaning to the song Jeepers Creepers. Welcome back to True Horror with Wolf and a Mummy. How long has it been? It has been three days. Three days. <laughs> Y'all are probably up to date, you know, like Baldwin. Is his name Baldwin? Mr. Baldwin. Mr. Baldwin. <laughs> He, he says he posts two to three days a week I'll on YouTube. Post three, four, five, ten times a week, and then he posts like once every two weeks. And he's our he's our mentor. <laughs> we learn from him. <laughs> We're like, oh, we can beat that. <laughs> he posts three, four times a year. <laughs> That's us. If you like podcasts that never come out, <laughs> That's so unpredictable. Yeah. When will it be next? Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> so today's episode is sponsored by GoPro. That's amazing. That's so exciting. If you want to go... GoPro. Go <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing today? We are going to be talking about the Boogeyman. The Boogeyman. Yeah. or oh. That's the original title was like... The boogeyman comes home. I don't know. Let me see. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's okay. It's something like that. Something yeah. like that. That's such a weird name. Yeah. The boogeyman. The boogeyman comes home. Well, not the boogeyman. I. You know what? Okay. And you'll like this. Uh huh. I was so stoked when the boogeyman came out the movie. Yeah. And I like low key kind of liked it. Yeah. And I was kind of young too, so like, but um, is that the only movie he's been in since Seventh Heaven? No. <laughs> Seventh Heaven fan over here. <laughs> like a fan would be an understatement. <laughs> so when you say the boogeyman, that's what I think of. I do too. Movie. And I love him so much. So the boogeyman. The boogeyman. Tell Which I like when you think of the boogeyman, you think of that movie. When I think of the boogeyman, I think of Halloween. Because they call him the boogeyman. Mm -hmm. Like I saw the boogeyman outside. So that's immediately. But is that the only time that they reference him as the boogeyman they in the first one they do a lot do they really okay mm -hmm. and that's her favorite horror film so because yeah. i think that's what we were gonna our next we were like we're gonna cover halloween which was for halloween and yeah. then we were like oh we're gonna cover krampus for yeah. christmas <laughs> <laughs> so this will probably be out in july so but this is based on a true horror and it happened on easter so that's such a true horror with wolf and the mummy it's perfect it literally part of the movie is like an unsolved mysteries reenactment this movie was an unsolved mysteries case i love that when that music came on Scared as a kid me to death Doo -doo. i'm not even gonna try <laughs> just kidding i'm not even gonna try <laughs> just insert it yeah. in there because it is creepy as all get out no it's crazy. i'm not gonna lie not even as a kid but as an adult yeah so tell me about the case so the case is um a guy his name is Depew, which I mean, it's just okay. The only Depew I know is Peppy. Peppy Le Pew. Le Pew. Le Pew. Is it Depew or Le Pew? I'm the worst person. The Depew. 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 Yeah. Pepe, Pepe is Le Pew. <laughs> <laughs> so Depew, like. Depew. But you still think of yeah a stinky yeah stinky Depew like okay the guy was not a handsome man doesn't have anything to do with the case but he was just a bad guy like when you see your the picture you'll be like. Yeah. Bad guy. I could see him being a bad guy. So he was married. He had a wife, three kids. She was a counselor. He um, did property assessments. Very, very unhappy marriage. So they get a divorce in 1989. Um, and then he comes over in 1990 for, Chris, for Easter. Sorry, he comes over for Easter. And he wants to see the kids. The kids don't want to go with him. And it just pisses him off. So um, he just takes it out on his wife. 
And he like he starts hitting her. He throws her down the stairs. The kids are freaking out. He just starts like wailing on her. He ends up taking her and throwing her in his van. Um, and he tells the kids, it's okay. I'm just taking her to the hospital. Mommy's going to be fine. Um, meanwhile, a guy and a girl are just taking a little Easter Sunday stroll. And um, the bad guy, Depew, is like on their bumper. They see him go into this abandoned school. And he has like something wrapped up in a sheet that looks kind of bloody. And so... They're like, what is going on? They go back and investigate. It's his wife. She'd been shot in the head. The police start looking for him. They can't find him. A year later, Unsolved Mysteries airs a case on him. And his girlfriend at the time was like, oh, <laughs> I'm dating that guy because the face, you know. Yeah, <laughs> Just, yeah. You know, he's, he's got a unique looking face. And um, so they have like a shootout with him. And he ends up committing suicide. And it's the exact beginning of... Jeepers Creepers. That is spot on. Yeah. I remember hearing about that and I looked it up mm -hmm. and the director says or writer yeah. that that isn't based on that. Yeah. But yeah. come on. I know. I can't confirm or deny if it's based on this. He said it was based on like Night of the Living Dead and Duel and no. Get out of town. <laughs> Get out of here. It's the exact time of year. It's the one was a church, I mean, one was a school. How great would this be if it was based on a true story? Yeah. That anytime it says that, that's when I get freaked out at night. Exactly. And you can elaborate so much on a right. based on a true story. Right. Like who knows? There could be a guy with the wings. Yeah. <laughs> and he who what's you know, what what a demon that guy is a demon to me, you know. Was he an Aztec demon that lives for centuries, no, but creative liberties, you know. Oh yeah. And just make him into a demon. Yeah. Anyway, I had I had, there's so many things I liked about this movie. Number one being like it's a brother and sister. Oh yeah. Like hang it out, you know. Absolutely. This came out in what, two thousand two? Yeah. I could so relate to it. We hung out like big time then. I could drive so we were out in my Mustang and we would go places and like I could totally relate to this movie because we were hanging out then. Oh, yeah. And... I, re I remember um, our dad telling me about this movie uh -huh. uh, on, at a trailer. Uh -huh. And I remember us being all at the, the kitchen table eating for dinner. And one night, you know, the TV was on in the living room uh -huh. and I heard the trailer come on and I just jumped out of my chair in the kitchen, <laughs> ran in there and it said scariest movie ever made scariest i forgot what it was it was like scariest of all time yeah and i was so excited i was like oh my god i've got to watch this it's so scary mm -hmm. scariest movie ever and then you know i'm 12 years old or so yeah uh come to realize like every trailer is like <laughs> scariest movie of the year scariest movie <laughs> of time it I was like, scary though the music makes it scary it was scary the boogeyman you see him in the daytime you weren't expecting that like i make i'm used to like nighttime you know boogeyman no and it was scary the you know justin long mm -hmm. and the two lead actors when they first read the script, mm -hmm. after 20 minutes of watching it, they actually had to put it down because they were so scared. And they're like, yeah. and they had to come back to it. And yeah. they're like, oh, wow, that's that's pretty intense. At the time, was Justin Long the Mac guy? Do you remember that? The Probably Mac. not. He did Mac commercials. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay, so this like dates me, but like he would be like... You know, your Apple's Mac or something. I don't know. Oh, anyway. I thought you were talking about McDonald's. Like Big Macs. He's the Mac guy. Like Big Macs. He's the Mac daddy. Huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> he did the Mac commercials. He was that Apple guy. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. He's kind of like nerdy a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I love Justin see that. Long. I do. I love Justin Long. When He's I, done a lot of good horrors, when too. I, yeah, like Alvin and the Chipmunks. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> Tusk. <laughs> okay. Tusk. I know we're not talking about it, but can we talk about it for just a minute? Because that second. is the creepiest. It, it's the creepiest. Should they put that in the trailer? <laughs> it's the creepiest movie of all time. <laughs> you contacted, you saw it before me and you called me. You're like, I just watched a movie. Don't watch it. And I'm like, oh, okay, let me go watch it. Yeah. <laughs> it, was so Instantly. it was so disturbing. It's intense. To this day, I still think about him. I do and, too. You know, that's kind of based on a true story. Is it really? Yeah. Who sewed someone up as a... So as a, it was two like talk show hosts or podcast hosts and they asked somebody if they would be in a walrus costume for like to get like an, a 
please don't quote me on this because this is just, I didn't look it up. This is just kind of memory. Um, and then he would get like an apartment for a year free or something. And so somebody heard it and was like, oh, I'll make a movie on that. Wow, that was it? Yeah. <laughs> but so that's not crazy. As extreme as like. But I still think about that all the time. Yeah. I'm like, wow, like he had to live his life as. I know. That was so sad. Mm-hmm. She had to go visit him. Mm-hmm. If you haven't seen Tusk, don't. don't. But kind of do because yeah. it's really creepy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, me being a director, like I'm all about you know like the easter eggs and what the director kind of puts in that that helps the movie go along or like his little special things it's crazy to me that they got a um a head of his and put it down in there with the bodies so like the director is in it uh which is so fun and exciting if i had a guy like a like a um some kind of um what do you call it? If I had a special flex uh-huh. guy, I would be like, hey, can you put my like dead body like all in these little places? And then when I watch it, oh, you see that finger? That's my finger. Like, I would love that. Yeah. That would be awesome. <laughs> that one, I didn't, honestly, I, didn't, I did not know that. He, You know, he even put his picture, like his uh, senior pictures, like in uh-huh. the background and stuff. Like, <laughs> I love that kind of stuff. I do too. And you said it was an Easter egg and this happens at Easter. So sorry. It's boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Easter eggs. Throwing them. Throwing those Easter eggs. So I had a lot of questions about this movie because it was very interesting. You know, we have an Aztec demon who feeds every 23 years and there was some consistencies in there. Like it was consistent that when he went down, he saw like a um, two prom dates from 23 years earlier, which prom would have happened at that time of year. I was like, oh good, this is very consistent. Then you kind of see like him hit um, Justin Long's car and it's a very nice classic car. But then when they pull off, the car is not damaged at all. Yeah. The inconsistency. Oh, yeah. But I think the biggest inconsistency is like, why is a demon driving a 1940s car with a personalized license plate? And how did the engine get so nice? So, I think I can answer these for you. <laughs> Please do, because I have had these questions. So, I would say... Yeah. In in my opinion, he killed someone mm-hmm. in that in that car. Think of it this way, he needs to scare them. Yeah. And you know, what better way to scare them than a creepy ass freaking car? That that car is pretty creepy. It, even the horn's creepy. Yeah. Like it's one of the like it's one of the heroes of the movie. Not heroes, but the like it's one of the scarier points. Absolutely. And you know, but, like, things in the daylight aren't as scary. Yeah. And, you know, we were talking about it before. It's one of the first movies where you see the monster in the, in the daylight. Yeah. Which is so cool. And you weren't and expecting it. You're not expecting it. I think it's really awesome that you can see that and you visually can see it. But, you know, in horror movies, it's so much scary if you don't. Your imagination can always mm-hmm. be scarier than, you know, what you can create in reality. And... I think that he needs to hide behind something to scare them more. If he came out flying in the daylight, mm-hmm. I think I would be like more like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, like yeah. what the crap? Am I watching? <laughs> Is this a dinosaur? <laughs> more than like scared to death? I don't yeah. know. What do, you, what do you think about that? I don't know. I just thought, I just pictured like him going to like the DMV. <laughs> like, you know, or like I want, because his license plate like says like be eaten you or yeah. something like that, which you can interpret as like beating you. Oh, or yeah. be, be eating, eating you. you. I think of that yeah. for sure. And so it kind of was very personalized <laughs> like him, but maybe it was a wife beater or something. And like you know, that. he's very, he's very human. He's got human traits, you know, he wears like the hat and mm-hmm. the and the the human clothes and everything. Yeah. So he's got human traits. I mean, maybe he did go to the DMV. I've seen some weird people <laughs> at the DMV. Like he probably wouldn't be the weirdest person I've seen in Los Angeles, California, DMV. Or Walmart at like twelve o'clock AM. Like we were talking about it the other day. I went to Walmart and I had like mud all over me and Hannah was like it's not going to be the worst thing. Yeah. Like, we'll see there. I used to work at Walmart, and the things I've seen, I could I could write a book. Yeah, I'm sure you saw some Jeepers <laughs> Creepers, right? Did you see some Creepers there? Oh, my God. Yeah, Creepers at Walmart. So, 
<laughs> yeah, he probably did go to AutoZone and get his new. I, can you imagine that? Get his car fixed Dude, up. Please. <laughs> yeah. Somebody talked about that he doesn't talk, but there's some deleted scenes where he's talking. What does he say? I don't did know. you watch it? I, don't know. I love watching the deleted scenes. I know. It usually shows like how they made the movie yeah, and the yeah. special effects, and that's my favorite thing. But I don't have this movie, so I can't. Yeah. I don't know if it was like he was like a parrot, like he's just kind of like mimicking English, you know, oh, like yeah, yeah. or if he's really because most of the movie he's just like hissing and gnarling and yeah, you know, which makes it more scary. I think if they had put it in, because I don't want human characteristics, I want that demonic unknown. Yeah, I agree. The with more that. unknown, the better. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it would probably be funny if he was talking. That's what I thought. You know, <laughs> you know? just so you start becoming a comedy. Yeah. <laughs> so I think he, they did good in that. I agree with that. And, you know, speaking of the truck, uh-huh. it was as bad as it looks. Oh, really? Because oh, it looks bad. It does look bad. <laughs> and the guy, apparently, the, the, like, the stuntman would open the door, the smoke would come out, it looked like Cheech and Chong in there. <laughs> <laughs> like... You know, up in smoke. Because <laughs> it was booking it at one time. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know if it was really booking it, but like... In the movie, it was booking yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I was like, oh my gosh. It was just a pile of rubbish. Yeah. You know, with that scene you're talking about where it's... they're He's ramming them with the truck and everything. In that scene, I read that... Uh, it wasn't deserted enough. Like, they really weren't. You heard about this? And so they had to grab the mailboxes and got all the people to get rid of their mailboxes, which that is some cool neighbors. That is. I was thinking that is exactly what I thought. Because if someone came to me and was like, hey, we need to get rid of your mailbox, I'd be like, mm, I don't know, man. <laughs> that would so be Can the I be in the movie? Right? <laughs> Like, I don't even need compensation. Can I just be part of this thing? People in Florida are awesome. Like, they're, they're, they're some awesome people. <laughs> oh, I agree. 100%. <laughs> so, this movie is kind of interesting because, you know, you, I, we are 80s baby movie horror people. Mm-hmm. You're an 80s baby. Yeah, I am. Yeah. And then I had to correct myself. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, yeah, he's not. I'm not 80s I'll baby. Just say horror. I'm a lover of 80s. <laughs> <You're> 80s. <laughs> um, so. I'm used to, like, if you're going to die if you're, like, not a virgin, you yeah. know? Like, that's that's the basis. But this movie was, like, off the rails in every way. Like, you see the killer in the daytime. It's just a brother-sister relationship. They called the cops, you know? Like, it's just, it was so plausible. It was all the things that you were like, oh, you know, you ran upstairs. You mm-hmm. know, the girl, it was just, they didn't, it didn't follow, like, the horror movie rules. It was like, they it, did everything you're supposed to, well... They shouldn't have went, like, peeping around. Did, <laughs> but, that's true. Yeah, there were a few things that they should have listened to more. Yeah. Uh, you know, the the psychic told them what to do. They yeah. didn't really listen to the psychic. I don't know that I would, though. Okay, maybe if I had seen the creeper, I would listen to a psychic. But if a psychic came up to me and was like, listen to me, I don't know. If I I'd would. probably do it. If it, like, I don't know. Would you be, like... I mean, during that, I would probably listen day to day. I would probably be like, oh, "Okay, thank you." Yeah. You know, like. No, if we were at like, I don't. Know, if we were at Shoney's, yeah. and a guy came up to me and said, <laughs> "Don't eat broccoli anymore." I'd probably eat broccoli, but if like a guy almost tried to like kill me, right. and then like I saw yeah. some dead bodies in a, under a church, like and this winged creatures. After yeah, there's you. some weird stuff going on. I'd be like, "Okay, we got to go." <laughs> yeah. But they did all the things typically. Like, that movie made me not want to, like, check into things, you know. Like, if I saw maybe a murder happening, I might have just been like, let's just call the cops. <laughs> and I agree with that. But I also, like, that's one of my favorite parts in the movie. Yeah. And I just made me want to, like, you know, make sure, like, protect... You know, people like, oh, there is some stuff happening and we need to, like, make sure it stops. I'm all for protecting people. I just don't want to be the one that, like, uncovers it. Yeah. Like, I want to call the cops and let them uncover it, you know? Yeah. But I've so many, I've been listening to so many interesting, like, podcasts and interviews where all these people would call the cops and they wouldn't do anything. And they'd be like, oh, it's just this, that, and the other. Oh, there's, you know, it's nothing. Um, Ends up being the people die and then the cops could have stopped it, which I get. I'm not against, you know, that. But 
That's true. I'm glad that I have you for a brother and a protector, because like. I know if something was happening to me, you would you would come check on me. You would check on me. I check on you, and I would call the cops to come check on you. And if there was you. a murder, <laughs> I would go into it further. If they no. were like, "Well, she committed suicide," about oh no, <laughs> now this is a murder investigation, <laughs> and if you aren't doing it, I am. Like I'll, I'm about to get the crime scene <laughs> tape, and I'm about to just tape this place. I'm so scared if that happened to me though. People would be like, "Well, Kim just really likes. She wants there to be." she wants it to be you know it, it's you know it's either way yeah yeah so it's interesting it's so interesting yeah so is this really a movie of curiosity killed the cat could be is that what killed them no it was creeper <laughs> creeper killed him, not the cat oh this isn't sleepwalkers <laughs> yeah it's true it's not sleepwalkers <laughs> I'm not even gonna start. They look like cats, and it's weird that the cats want to eat them because <laughs> right. they kind of look cat-like. I know, right? And, and it's like I don't get it. Mother and son relationship, just cringe factor to the hundred. I love that movie, though. It's a good movie. <laughs> don't get us so wrong. Pretty. We like that movie. Um, so that brings us on the topic of Stephen King, not Stephen. the Prince. We love him. I swear, every movie he Stephen. gets, or every I mean, podcast, we like. He's the king. We go back to him. There's a theory. I love theories. I eat them. That the creeper uh-huh. of Jeepers Creepers is the son of Pennywise the Clown. Think about it. Okay, think about this. They both are dormant. Mm-hmm. One's 23 years, one's 25 or 27. Then they come out and they have to feast. Yeah. They also like to play with their meal. Yeah. And their fear. They feed on the fear. They need them to be scared. Uh-huh. At the end of the It novel, they the Loser Club mm-hmm. says they think that it was pregnant. And their teeth are kind of similar. And their teeth kind of similar. <laughs> and they look just alike. <laughs> I mean, Pennywise, yeah, it can be anything. It can be so, anything, yeah. yeah. Another theory, oh, another yeah. fan theory, yeah. and I want to get your opinion on this one. Okay, is that he is so old? Uh-huh. You know, you were talking about Aztec uh-huh. old. Uh-huh. That he is the reason why the Roanoke group disappeared. He killed them all, ate them. I uh, yes. <laughs> okay, that solves so many mysteries. I mean, because yep. it was like. There's not a lot of people there. He mm-hmm. has to eat mm-hmm. in 23 days. They're gone in a short amount of time. Yeah, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. I Yes, I stamp that with my approval. On top of that, mm-hmm. the character's name is mm-hmm. Derry. And in it, the town is called Derry. Now, this fan theory comes from Hannah Milosevic. It is a interesting boom, boom, boom. I picture, like you were saying the other day, um, <laughs> Charlie. Charlie from uh, It's Always Sunny in from Philadelphia. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> just trying to figure this out, puzzle piece this together. Boom. I love full it. circle. I love it. There was a lot of stuff that was cut from this movie. And if you look at the ending, like it kind of moves like in a general direction. And then to me, the ending's kind of weird. I didn't know it was not a good ending. Now, with that being said... The ending ending I like. Me too. But the them at the police station and him getting taken, it just felt a little off. Like, yeah. And then I loved when it showed him in the facility, uh-huh. in the factory or warehouse. Uh-huh. You can hear the music and stuff. Yeah. I loved that. No, that scene was... was Money. Pff, yeah. Yeah, it was great. The and, eyes, Jeepers Creepers. And why did they... Why was that weird feeling? Because... There was supposed to be a, another act, another part, and Justin Long had been training for it so hard because he was going to take the creeper car and run it into a train and try to kill the creeper that way. But um, the budget got cut from like Dang. a million. So him and um, the girl got, like the last part of the movie, they were just ad-libbing a lot. That's crazy. Yeah. With the ending that it is now, mm-hmm. what did you think about the music playing and everything? 
So when I, I'm like you, if you hear like the Jeeper Creeper music in the Jeeper Creeper movie. Oh, best part. Best. It's like, yes. And the mu- music is just so creepy itself. Kind of like the tiptoe through the tulips. Oh my God. You yeah. know, mm-hmm. it's just. It really does remind me of Insidious. Like mm-hmm. when that demon is like working on his thing and he has that creepy music. Yes. Just like you just said with the tiptoe. And he's sitting there playing. I wonder if they are somehow related as well. I don't know. Like, you took inspiration or you think, like, the demons are connected? I think the demons are connected somehow. Oh, that'd be so awesome. Wouldn't that be awesome awesome if there was an Insidious Jeepers Creepers? Universe. uh, Universe. Yeah. I would love that. And so there's a new Jeepers Creepers coming out? There's going to be a new Jeepers Creepers. And who's, do you know any... Any I know nothing. I, I haven't looked it up yet. That's so I, I probably like, won't start that. Okay. But it's kind of cool they're doing a new Jeepers Creepers. Yeah. I'm excited yeah, about it. Yeah, me too. I, we're definitely, we can start a podcast as soon as that comes yeah. out. That'd be awesome. What do you think about this? Okay, so the church mm-hmm. that it, the original church set, mm-hmm. they used to tour with. And then it mysteriously burnt down. Yeah. What do you think of that? I think that's... Do you think someone in the neighborhood burned it down? They're like tired of these horror fans coming out to get a tour Absolutely, of this place. 100%. Or do you think it was a fan that just thought it'd be really cool? No. Fan, think, I think somebody burned it down. I think like, it was a neighborhood that like, was just I sick of it. I'm sick of people coming to my neighborhood. Like, leave us alone. We took our mailboxes down for you. Like, what more do you need? <laughs> you know, leave now us a, alone. Now there's a tour at this church. <laughs> Dunsky. <laughs> Do you think that's what happened with Evil Dead? And that's why that yeah. one got burned oh, down? I, uh, yes. 100% yes. Wow. Full circle, guys. So don't let them use your house. <laughs> it will burn down. <laughs> if you're set, <laughs> it's in a movie. If your house is in a movie, it will burn down. Moral of the story. Yeah. So to full recap. Yeah. What was your favorite part in this movie? The ending. The ending? I like, there's like two parts. I like when Justin Long and his sister are just riding in the car. They're in her old car. He's driving. Mm-hmm. Like, I could so relate to that because if we go anywhere, I'm like, you want to drive my car? <laughs> That's <laughs> true. I need to drive. That's true. So I could totally relate to the brother sister. It's a good brother sister yeah. movie. And like, she was going to sacrifice herself. He sacri- I mean, they like, honestly, they were like good, a good brother sister they like, were they were nice they got along i, I liked that i w- i really wanted him to survive I did too. even with his eyes out and too. stuff like, like a tusk thing like yeah. yeah you'll be deformed forever but <laughs> in the second one i was really hoping somehow he managed to survive but you see him he's in the second one yeah but he doesn't have any eyes and it's just like a a dream state yeah where you just see him when he's they're passing by yeah it's sad. Poor Justin Long. He doesn't. He doesn't end well in movies, does he? Mm-hmm. You know, I I love him in in uh, the Sasquatch movie. He's real yeah, funny in that. I've never seen it. It's so fun. He's my favorite thing about this. Um, the Sasquatch gang. So you know, I have kids. I'm mm-hmm. a mummy, and well, they are totally into Scooby Doo. We have to show a little clip of their little Scooby Doo outfits because that's just our big thing. And there is a Scooby Doo episode, Jeepers! There's a creeper. That's crazy. And the creature is like the creature. Is it really? Yeah. I wonder if they kind of pay for that. Did I don't they... know. I mean, you know, like there is the song Jeepers Creepers, obviously. So. I, I don't know, but it's it's very interesting. And then Jeepers, there's a creeper makes me think of when I had a creeper. <laughs> That's true. And just a recap, basically, there was someone watching you as a child through the window mm-hmm. who was long haired, bearded. You imagined a werewolf because he is very werewolf like features. Mm-hmm. Our father chased after him, and you never saw him since, correct? correct? Yes. We had a, a guy watching our show, and he contacted us, um, Brad White. Shout out to him. And he let us know that he had a theory about this, which I thought was super interesting. I'm like, give me your theories and your, you know. Yeah, I love that Brad and Jessica listen to this. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Um, but he said that he was thinking about it and he was like, okay, you had a wolf watching you or what you described as a wolf. And he said, you know, in his mind, it automatically went to like, what if there's, you know, alternate universes or time travel and it was you wolf 
watching us and seeing like maybe something was going to happen that night and you were protecting us or you w went back in time to see our dad or you know there was just some reason why you were looking into the window so you were actually the wolf i saw it's an interesting theory seeing that i usually don't creep on people and look through <laughs> windows um i would like to say if that is what happened i was trying to figure out a way to, to stop hitler from you know yeah but like what if there was like gonna be a creeper that night and you had stopped him or a burglar that's true that's or, what i would have done is yeah just trying to stop the actual creeper right like there was and that makes me feel better that maybe it was my brother saving me than it's an old man creeping on i enjoyed this this was me amazing too. yeah uh i can't wait for the new one to come out i know and don't forget to like and subscribe True horror with a wolf and a mummy.